everyone, I'd like to welcome you to Island Point Marina. I'd like to thank you for renting with us. And here I'm gonna show you our 77 foot Somerset houseboat rental. So first off, we're gonna go ahead and get started here on the front deck. All right, so first off on the front deck, I would like to show you our safe, part of our safety features, which begins with the fire extinguisher here, which is always located on the front by the en front door entrance. Off to my right, we also equip the boats with a throw life ring with the attached yellow rope. Um, each, also, each of our houseboats are equipped with uh, four steel anchors, which are normally stored under this front hatch, and I'll open it up for you in a bit, as well as a uh, additional shovel to dig out your holes. And again, just to remind you that all anchors are stored right under this hatch here. At the front of these houseboats, we have 450 foot gold braid anchor line which are currently wrapped around the front cleats and wrapped all the way down to the side of the houseboat. On continuing on to the front deck we also provide a nice good size ice chest for beverages or any cold food that you may need to store. Also provided on our houseboats is a uh, front deck shower mainly just to wash your feet. All right each of our houseboats is also equipped with a gangplank and this gang gangplank gives you access to the beaches uh, while you're out on your trips. Um, three gates on the front deck as well, two on the side for access on dock while here at the marina and a front gate here to give you access to our beaches while in use with this gangplank here. Now I'd like to talk about the back deck here, starting off with the fire extinguisher as well as the uh, throw life ring with the attached rope. Also here on the back deck, I would like to show you our twin 250 Mercury outboard motors here. Upon arrival, you should uh, go through an inspection and this inspection also includes checking the props. While checking the props, you want to make sure your props are uh, clean, no bends, no cracks, no chips. Once the motor's all the way up, you and your instructor will take a look at those. Off to my left here, you also have your uh, toy tank fuel pump. In order to use, all you have to do is pull out the handle and uh, push on your lever here. Once activated, pump will turn on and you are able to pump the fuel into uh, your boats. Okay, so now that we're up here on the top deck, I'd like to bring you over to our slide. And uh, before use, I would like to remind you that all generators and motors need to be off. And any obstructions down there on the back deck need to be out of the way before it's use. In order to operate the slide, there is a slide switch inside the back deck door off immediately off to your left. Once that switch is hit, it'll activate our automatic pump. And when that water pump runs, it'll just continue to uh, provide the slide with water. Also on the top deck here, we have a gas-powered propane grill. This propane grill comes equipped with two propane bottles. They are five, five gallon bottles in this small closet here. The attached hose should already be connected to the bottles. All you would have to do is just open the valve on top by twisting the valve in a clock counterclockwise motion um, and to start the gas fire grill you do have an electronic igniter which can be pressed in and it should light the burner after its use we do ask that you always shut the propane bottle off we'll start off with our speaker switches and your AMF controls for music um, top deck sink on the bar we got a, a little mini fridge here for you, as well as an ice maker. Uh, both of these appliances do run on inverted power and they operate off of a GFI outlet, which is off, also off to the side here, along with the speaker switches. So the two appliances are here on the top deck do not work for you. One of the things you may want to check is your GFI outlet. It has a reset button, so if activated, it just needs to be pressed back in. Here at the flybridge, everything operates just the same as, as, as it would downstairs at the main helm. Uh, four switches here, front being the uh, horn, navigation anchor lights, your blower switch, and another set of lights here. Um, off to the left, we do have 
bow thruster controls as well. Uh, press the on on button, same time to activate. Right underneath that, we have your VHF marine radio for hailings and emergencies. Up above, we have your Garmin GPS system. And uh, when operating on the top deck helm, I would like to remind you that when you do come into close quarters or you're coming into a dock or the beach especially, you need to transfer back downstairs and operate the boat from there. Okay, so here at the main helm, I'm going to run through the startup procedures with you. Uh, but before I get to that, I'm gonna, I want to throw out the reminder that you do have to make your checks around the boat before starting up any motor. Um, so your checks should begin with walking to the back deck and making sure all your swimmers and passengers are nowhere in the water or nowhere near the back of the boat. All passengers should be inside or if you're still on the beach, maybe on the beach. Um, you would also need to check for any uh, evidence of fuel leaks, you know, odors, or you could visibly, visibly check the engine compartment. Uh, you also need to check your anchor lines and mooring lines, making sure that all your ropes are neatly secured to the sides of the houseboat and nothing else is hanging in the water. Okay, so moving on. Our star sequence begins with the key switches here. Um, all we have to do is turn the key switches two clicks to the right into the on position. The on position is going to activate your throttles here. Notice the illuminated red lights. These illuminated red lights should be in line with your throttles and this indicates neutral position. In order to start and crank the motors, your throttles need to be in neutral position. So once everything is illuminated and lit, you are ready to turn the key fully. All you have to do is just turn once and release. You don't have to hold the key switches or these motors will automatically start itself once the key switches are activated. Once activated, up above you have your RPM gauges. These RPM gauges should idle at about around 700 RPM and uh, it is indicated by the orange needle there. Once you are set at idle, your motors are currently on and running. And the operation for the motors begins with the throttles. There are three positions. The first one is right in neutral, right in the middle. If you push forward on the throttles, you're gonna hit your reverse or your forward position. Bring back to center and pull back on the throttles. It's gonna activate the reverse setting. Up above the throttles here, we have a set of gauges on both sides, indicating uh, fuel for one, as well as voltage and temperature. Okay, so moving on from the startup procedures with the motors, I'm going to talk about the switches and the, uh, the electronics here. First off, on the far left, we have a horn, the navigation anchor lights, a blower switch for the generator engine compartment, uh, spotlight switch and three bilge pump switches. Now these are manual switches, but these uh, bilge pumps on board have an, a flow switch that will be automatically set if reached a certain level. A toy tank switch on the far right, which activates your toy tank fuel gauge located here in the center. Above that, a GPS Garmin for your use. And on the far left of the helm, we have bow thruster controls. These controls are activated by two on switches and they do need to be pressed at the same time in order to operate. Notice the illuminated low orange light there that indicates power to your control. Underneath we have a VHF marine radio. This marine radio needs to be set at channel 16 at all times. And channel 16 is for all hailings and emergencies. If you need to hail any vessel or get a hold of the marina, you can hail on channel 16. Um, if you have any emergency, you can all you need to hail National Park Service on channel 16 as well. All right, the transferring process to transfer from the main helm to the top, the top deck helm begins with your start sequence here at the main helm. It's always best to start and stop your boat from the bottom helm. So let me go ahead and begin with turning on our motors. 
Once the motors are on and running, we can go and head upstairs and I'll show you what you need to do up there. All right, so now to finish off the transfer process, we currently have the motors on downstairs. And now as your throttles on the flybridge, all you're gonna look for is the transfer button. This transfer button here is gonna be pressed twice. So always remember you gotta do it twice. And after pressing twice, notice the illuminated solid red lights. This indicates power and control at your flybridge helm. From here, you should be good to go. Okay, so now we're gonna start with the generator sequence, startup sequence. And before we get into that, I wanna let you know that you need to have your AC uh, thermostat in the off position here. And in the back, we have uh, some more switches that I need to inform you about. Okay, so here at the main panel, you need to double check that your HVAC one switch and your air handler switch switches are in the off position. And up above, power transfer one and power transfer two are also in the off position. And from there, we can go and head up to the main helm and begin our generator startup sequence. Okay, so up here at the main helm, your generator start sequence begins with your blower switch. This blower switch needs to be on and activated and running for at least four to five minutes before starting our generator. So after activating the blower switch on the main helm and running it for four to five minutes, you can move to your generator start switches. Notice you have two of them on board, but I need to let you know that you can only use one at a time. So after the four to five minutes of running a blower, all you have to do with your generator is press your start switch. Notice the illumination of lights. And once the generator is on and running, your green light here should be on at all times. Now, if you're having trouble starting up the generator, if you hold the stop side of the switch, it's gonna activate the fuel pump. You can hold it for about five seconds and then come back to your start switch and hit once more. Once generator one or two is activated and currently running, underneath your start switches is a transfer power switch. Now with your transfer power switch, you'll notice that you have generator one and generator two. You're gonna select whichever generator is currently on and running. And from that point, we're gonna run back to the panel again and activate our switches back there. Okay, so now that you've ran your generator, batteries are nicely charged. If you're needing to shut the generator down to get swimmers in the water, it, your, your shutdown sequence begins with your panel board and shutting um, appliances off that run on generator power only. Anything that runs on the inverter is okay to keep on, but the rest of the board should go off. So with your lights and uh, appliances that are not running on generator power, you can go and shut those off. Your AC handler, your HVAC switch, all off. And at the top, your power transfer switch number two and number one will go off. And from there, we can head back to the, the front helm and shut the generator down. All right, the generator shutdown sequence ends with the switch at the front helm. And all you gotta do here is push the stop side of the switch and your generator deactivates and shuts itself down. All right, here in the kitchen, we're gonna start out with the fire extinguisher located here, just off this cabinet wall. Um, below, we have a range, your stove top, and this stove top works on generator power as well as your dishwasher off to the left of that. Now, both of these appliances require the generator to be on and operating in order to use. Above this stove, we have your microwave, and the microwave runs on inverted battery power. Now, with any appliance in the kitchen area that runs on uh, inverter power, or they will be tied to GFI outlets here. Now, with the appliance is not running, you may want to find the nearest GFI outlet and just hit the reset button. So moving on to the rest of the kitchen, it is fully equipped with your cookware, your plates, your, uh, your pots, pans, glasses, and bowls. Um, your sink here also has a, uh, it's a garbage disposal as well. 
And to finish off the kitchen, you have two fridges. And all again, they both work off of inverted power. So if you have no power to your fridges, you may want to look for the nearest GFI outlet. Okay, on our Somerset houseboats, you, you, they are equipped with vacuum flush toilets. And uh, the procedure to use these toilets is actually pretty simple. Off to the back side, you do have two press buttons, one being a bowl fill and the other a flush. So pretty self-explanatory there. Um, with the toilet system, we do provide you with the, the necessary toilet paper. And we do ask that you use this type of toilet paper only. Uh, any other toilet paper or any other product will that will be flushed down will clog up the system. Okay, off to the side of the uh, toilet here, we have a safety cabinet. Inside you'll find your orange life vests, as well as a first aid kit and a distress flag on the very top shelf. So on our houseboats, every room in-house comes equipped with smoke and carbon monoxide alarms. Uh, these alarms are set in place on walls and will sound when the monoxide or smoke is detected. If it is sounding and going off, all you need to do is open up all the windows in-house and guide everyone off the boat or anywhere to fresh air and shut off your, shut off your generator. Okay, so in conclusion of our video here, or of our instruction, we'd like to thank you here at Animal Point Marina. Thank you for renting with us and choosing to uh, use our services. And we would like to wish you a safe and fun, memorable trip. Thank you very much.